24, 25, 26, 27 living at home. And every time you go out to make some moves, where are you going, little Johnny? What's up, little Susie? It's 11 o'clock. No one comes in James Johnson's house at 11 o'clock unless they're James Johnson. So you got to deal with that noise. I mean, the comfort of having other people pay your bills. Yeah, that's awesome. But you will never be your own man. So if you don't want to go to college, don't go. Take a year. Take two years. Take three years and experiment. Why? You're clean. You don't have bad credit. You don't have kids. You don't have a wife. You have the world as your oyster. What's up, Internet? Today, we're going to talk about the death of the average man. The death of that good, hard-working man who don't want nothing from anybody, just wants to make some money, drink some beer on the weekends. We're going to talk about that dude and why he has to die and why you're going to thank me that he did. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of Hustlers Kung Fu University, the place that you learn how to hustle, start a business, and learn how to develop generational wealth. Be sure to spank that subscribe button. Slap it hard for me. Stay to the end of the video to learn how to get a free t-shirt. Let's go ahead and put this out there. I have a video, $100,000 credit limit with poor credit, and many people are coming to this video, even though I said in the video, this tactic was not for the common man. Didn't hear that. They were like, whoa, 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 whoa. you want me to do this the right way? Nah, man, they're just looking for scam stuff. They really are. Well, it got me to thinking. I got another one of those comments about the average man. First of all, let's address a few things. We do not have upper middle class. We don't have lower middle class. We have have and have nots. Then we have rich people and then we have wealthy people. If you're not rich, you're just a have. And depending upon the spectrum that you might be in, you might have a lot and you may just have a little. Take the guy who makes 50,000, 60,000 a year. He has a car, he has a house, he has bills, and he's struggling and he's underwater. And that is the way the system wants it to be. The system wants you like that. The system don't want you tasting no freedom. Because if you tasted freedom, you wouldn't work as hard. And if you didn't work as hard, you wouldn't pay as much in taxes as you do. The system wants you to be the average man. So that's number one reason you should want, want to be the average man. The system thrives on the average man. The system chokes the average man. The system sets up the average man. You don't want to be the average man. That's why the average man has got to die. You got to escape that because as long as you're the average man, life is gonna be hard. And I'm gonna tell you how the system starts. It starts when you go to college. These credit cards, then you, you feel like you have money because you have access to things and the ability to pay later, but you really don't have any money. You know a lot of people mess up their credit in college? My divorce messed up my credit. I did get some into some trouble. I had a very large bill. It was like 1500 bucks because this is when I was starting one of my businesses that was a failure. And I used all the money. I went out and got more credit, but I managed to pay it off and keep my credit good. But I did get in trouble because I overextended myself because Big Willie style. Let's talk about you. Let's be all about you, an average man. So you're doing this average man thing and you are pressed, financially pressed. And financial pressing is the origination of hate, jealousy, and many other bad woes. So you're walking around already predisposed to hate if someone has it a little bit better than you. That's the average man's status. Part of being the average man is being unaware of the opportunities that exist. There is really no reason for anyone that has access to the internet to be the average man. But this is the thing. Most people who use the internet are consumers of the internet. They're not the architects of the internet. They don't build stuff. They don't create content. They just consume. You need to change that. The average man has a situation that is killing him. Thank God it's Friday. That's what you hear. Friday, people leaving work at 2, 3 o'clock, getting in their car. If it's payday, oh Lord, got a little money. And they work. 
to be off a day and a half, to drink some beer, to be around their buddies, to have that party, to go to a movie. They're living only 15% of the week. That's when they're living. And the, the little trap is, it's Sunday morning, and you watch a little football, and you enjoy the last of your free day. And around 6 p.m., starts tightening up that feeling in the pit of your stomach because you know you got to go to that job that you hate. You've got to work around people that you don't really care for. Drag yourself out of bed Monday morning. And you go in that job and everyone's hungover. You ever notice like at any opportunity, people take it as a chance to be off because they hate what they do. I want you to love what you do like I do. People are like, well, we went to New York too much. I, I love this. Get yourself in that framework when you love what you do. It is still a job. There are still things that get on your nerves. Let's not get it twisted. But you don't ever wake up on Monday morning with that feeling in the pit of your stomach. You're doing something you don't want. You're living in a manner that you don't want and you're desperate for escapism. That's why video games are so big. That's why uh, movies, anything, vacations. You got people who are going on three, four, five vacations a year using up all their PTO because if they don't have those vacations, they, they will wither away because they hate what they do. That is the average man. So number one, don't work a job you hate. It will make you average. I don't have that, thank God it's Friday. I don't have that, whoa, man, you know, we get an extra day here. Oh, I don't have that mentality because I love what I do. Number two, you got to learn to live below your means. Not within your means, but below your means. The average man's philosophy is if I got 5000 for the month, I'm good. The uncommon man philosophy is, I got 5000 per month, I am broke. You got to reframe that mindset. You got to stop. You have to set yourself up in something that you love to do because to become rich, because once again, you got the, low, the lower halves and the upper halves, but they're all in the same boat because if that paycheck disappears, the snatcher man, the repo man, he's coming to get that house, he's coming to get those cars have to find something and I'm gonna give you some guidelines on finding stuff that you love because if you don't you're going to be an average man the rest of your life you're gonna be the common man the rest of your life and you're gonna be in that old folks home 75 80 90 and just filled and riddled with regret it's gonna be like a cheap cologne that clings to you if you don't know what you want to do take a deep breath Calm down. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. You need to experiment. You need micro experiments. Write that down. Micro experiments. Matter of fact, put some micro experiments in the in the, in the, in the uh, comment section. Let's say you want to dabble in t-shirts. Do it. But you only give yourself a framework of 30, 60, 90 days. And you test out four or five different things a year. Because one of the things that happens is people get caught up in situations like what they, they chose out to do. I'll give you a good example, like doctors. You have a lot of people who go to med school and then they find out they don't want to be a doctor or lawyers. They don't want to be a lawyer. So they got all of this student loan debt. I'm going to address that in a minute. And they don't want to do the job that will pay or service the student loan debt because it's not their heart's desire. To prevent all of that, test. Now, this is going to be very controversial. If you are a kid and you feel that college is not for you, stand up on your hind leg. You say, I'm not going to college. I'm getting out your house. Thank you, mom and dad, for raising me. I'm on my own. I got this. You need to get out in the world and you need to experiment on some things and you need the freedom of personal space because you 20, 24, 25, 26, 27 living at home, and every time you go out to make some moves, where you going, little Johnny? What's up, little Susie? It's 11 o'clock. No one comes in James Johnson's house at 11 o'clock unless they're James Johnson. 
So you gotta deal with that noise. I mean, the comfort of having other people pay your bills, yeah, that's awesome, but you will never be your own man. So if you don't wanna go to college, don't go. Take a year, take two years, take three years and experiment. Why? You're clean. You don't have bad credit. You don't have kids. You don't have a wife. You have the world as your oyster. Take advantage of that time. I did. Now, step number three. A common affliction of the average man is student loans. Student loans will prevent you from buying the most house you can buy. Will prevent you, well, they will just do a lot. You got people in California who are making 200, 250,000 a year and because of those student loan payments, they're renting because they can't afford to buy. I read an article about it, it just blew my mind. People making 250,000 as a couple, 300, 400,000. They can't buy nothing in California. It's crazy, but true. So this kind of segues into don't go to college and accumulate the student loan debt. And also, if you have student loan debt, you want to pay that off as early as possible. You want to get a part-time job and devote all of those funds to paying your student loans because they will cripple you. And this is a common affliction of the average man having a bunch of student loans because people are doing dumb stuff like buying cars, living off the student loan money, going out, buying clothes. So you bought this Gucci belt in 1992 for 300 bucks, but because of the interest, you're gonna pay 5,000 for that belt. That is dumb. That is stupid. But that's the average man. Rule number four. At an early age, you need to learn how to handle money. I don't care what you have to do. You have to call Jesus. You need someone to put some voodoo on you. You need to learn how to handle money. One of the problems with the average man is money in his hands is like water going through a bucket with five holes in it. Just water in, water out. You have to change the paradigm on that. It's just not going to work. Now, I think this is five. I'm not sure, but I'm quite sure you'll let me know in the comments if I'm off. You must develop a plan for your life. Many folks out here are letting life live them versus living life. There is no plan. Once again, if you're young, that's cool. But you feel you're 45, you're 50, uh, that ain't really cool. It really ain't. I mean, you can start, but see, you, you kind of set in your ways, which is going to make it hard for you to grow. A plan, a written plan for your life. It's going to be hard. Your head's going to hurt. But you will be ahead of 95% of the people out there because most folks don't have a plan. They just show up and hope. Showing up and hope, it's not a good plan. It's not, it's not optional. You can't do that. Number six, one of the things that you must do, and hear me and hear me now, is understand that life is not fair. There are people who hear those words and go, yeah, I know life ain't fair. But the practical application, the lips are stuck out because someone has more than they are. Someone has more stuff than they do. Someone's prettier. Someone, it, it, it ain't fair. You gotta forget about your weaknesses and work on your strengths and make them stronger. Number seven, you cannot hate what you want. If you want a mansion, you want nice cars, you want a business, you want that boss stabbed across your chest, you cannot hate people who are currently occupying those positions because your subconscious mind is going to say, oh, you hate that? All right, we're we going to make sure you don't get that. Even if you get someone who hands you something on a silver platter, your subconscious mind is like, nah, we're going to mess that up. Let's throw a monkey wrench into these plans. Being the average man is a death sentence to mediocrity, to low expectations, to having a long and sad life. Or if you're uh, unfortunate, maybe a short and sad life. That, that's it. Number eight, what you gotta do is focus. After your experimentation, find some stuff that you like you need to focus like a ninja you need to become Chinese you need to become an immigrant
immigrant in focus because one of the things and th this is probably endemic of the whole internet is people are trying to make a lot of money with little effort it just doesn't work sure you'll get someone who will do it but they are unicorns they are rare they are the exception not the rule you gotta focus like a maniac you gotta have this single determination to do what you're doing and to be the best at it. that move right there will move you from the lower halves to the middle halves to even the upper middle halves just on the doorstep of being rich now let's talk about numbers here there are people who think the top one percent of billionaires that is misinformation many people who are in the one percent only make two hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year yes if you are in that because the thing is about the top one percent that that sounds real sexy for marketing purposes but what you really need to be thinking is that the billionaires and the mega millionaires are the ultra millionaires are the probably the 0.4 percent because there's a lot of people in the one percent on facebook i was having this conversation with this fool and he's like i said i'm in the one percent he's like oh whatever mr billionaire no 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 i went ahead and showed him charts and graphs and he was just like no no i'm right even though you're you know my feelings are more important than your evidence no i feel right therefore i'm right even though he was wrong 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 so you got to limit yourself from common man thinking because when people say the one percent people think billionaires well when people say the one percent you should think of your dentist you should think of your doctor you should think of maybe a senior level engineer yeah that's the one percent and they're not rich they they're comfortable they got enough money to play this tax game they got enough money to buy the toys in the house and save for the retirement hello so part of the numbers I was having this conversation with a friend and I said if you had to raise $2,000 cash money not coming off a credit card not coming out your 401k could you do it and she said yes easily I got 15 grand in the bank I don't touch and I was like wow that's good that's great she's like I, you know whenever it gets tight I do overtime or something. She said, I keep adding to that because uh, now she's moved. She's got 15 grand in that account and then she's moved some other money toward investments. So she's pretty good. So I was having this conversation with another friend and I asked him the same question and he said, no. And I was having this conversation with another friend and he said, no. That conversation of $2,000, just money, not in the 401k, just in a bank account and I don't want to hear this noise about well don't put money in the bank stop playing common man games this whole thing well yeah you know I can go over here to this money market account for like 1.8 percent interest versus leaving it over here in this account where I earn like you know 0.8 percent either way you're still losing you're still losing you're playing common man games oh yeah I got 401k yeah you know a 401k was designed to be one third of the retirement plan you were supposed to have a pension 401k and social security it was never meant to be the whole enchilada once again wall street said oh we can fleece the common man because it's a big block of folks who are financially unsophisticated and we can play this little game with them because do you know that average person's portfolio doesn't appreciate that much because they're paying more than fees that one percent two percent three percent management fee that statement fee it adds up it just erodes your wealth building assets but once again the common man head in the sand well you know i'm putting 450 dollars a month for 401k i should be good then fred we're gonna call him fred reaches the age of 65 and fred retires and he lives good for a year and the market crashes and he frets like welcome to walmart you cannot save your way to wealth you must create wealth you must build wealth you must create content you must
must create products, you must create services. You gotta build. A country's uh, GDP is determined on how much they create, not what they save, not what they shell game move around. You gotta limit yourself from that average man thinking. You should be thinking, what can I build? What can I create? What can I make that doesn't exist? Because that's uncommon. It's not the common man thinking like that. That's the uncommon man. And you got these kids out here who are thinking uncommonly, and they're making hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars per year before they're 25 with options all over the world. So you can become part of the creative class, you can become part of the business class. You need to leave the working class. So let me tell you how to leave your job. Number one, you start a side hustle. Side hustle, part-time business, call it whatever you want. It's all the same. It's more money. Then you scale that in four or five hours a day. You know, uh, watching television, gone. Um, watching football, gone. If someone has a wedding or a birthday party, go. Those things are very rare. They don't happen every weekend. Go, enjoy yourself, take a little time off. Because the rest of the time, you are nose to the grindstone because you are trying to build something. Because the only way that you're gonna escape the average man syndrome is to create wealth. And creating wealth is creating products, services, businesses. It's creating something. It's building something that didn't exist. And it's exchanging those things for cash. That is how you kill the common man. Every day that you wake up, you need to be trying to choke the common man. Just choke him out. Get rid of him. So when you look in that mirror, you don't see the common man. You see a hero. You see someone that's changing them in this life. You see someone that's changing the lives of their children. You see someone who is pre pre prepping for the next generation so they can build on that and build more. That's the uncommon man way of thinking. But if you want to be like, hey, I just want a high credit limit, $100,000. I don't have the income to pay it back. So you can get in trouble, ruin your credit, and owe people a lot of money. It's not going to happen, folks. It's not. In, in that video, $100,000 credit limit with bad credit, you can work that angle if you make $30,000 a year. You can work it if you make fifty. dollars it's just you got to proportionally adjust what you can get. Single-minded determination will get you far. But no, people want a scam. People want some way to cheat. Now, this is why a lot of people are suspicious of many other folks. Because in their heart, they're not right. If you want some kind of way to cheat, you want some scam, you want some hidden jewel or secret that leaves everyone else out, your soul is unclean. I got spiritual there, didn't I? It is. Because if, you know, there's this, I used to be this kind of person. If it wasn't illegal, I would do it. Now I'm this kind of person. If it's illegal, I'm not doing it. If it's immoral, I'm not doing it. You need to clean up your spirit because all of this cheating and, and also this other thing like, well, it's okay to cheat. It's okay to do this stuff because other people are doing it. No, it's not. Now, 1997, I was in that boarding house. Jafar comes up to me talking about, hey, you want a piece of this action? They flipping drugs. I'm like, no, I was hungry. I was desperate. I wanted to do it so bad, but some just said, don't do this. Don't do this. And I didn't do it. And they were like, you know, coming, you know, this is the thing, Jafar coming up with a $1,500 Pelly Pelly jacket by living in a boarding house. That's just whack. It, it was, but he actually did that. A few months later, about six, seven months later, people started getting arrested. A uh, few two died. And it just showed me that doing it the right way is the only way. Because yeah, you could cheat, and, you know, and go like, well, yeah, uh, well, these other people got ahead this way, so I'm gonna do it. It's not the way, folks. It's just not the way. You, you want to do it the right way. You want to put in the work. You want to put in the time. Because when you do it the right way, you don't have to worry about the police knocking on your door. You don't have to 
worry about looking over your shoulder every time. You don't have to worry about your bank account being seized because you did it the right way. You escaped being the common man with determination, single-mindedness, purpose. You, you're, there's a way out. It's not quick. It's not easy. But there's a way out. And I have faith that some of you can do it. Not all of you. Because a lot of you happy being common. A lot of you happy being Joe Q public. Yeah, you know. Because you don't want to exert yourself. You don't want to work too hard. You just want it to come easy or some scammy way. It's just not in the cards. It's not. So this is just some food for thought. Some stuff that you can put your, sink your teeth into. And if you're the common man, you can leave this video now. Because I'm about to start pitching to the uncommon man for the folks who want something out of life, for the folks who are really put in the work, for the folks who are determined to change their lives, change the lives of their children, and change the lives of the next generation. That's who I'm talking to. Because I know the rest of you, like you turn this video off and it's like, man, he talking bad about me. Mm, you need the message the most. So, bye. <laughs> hey there, this is what's going on. I am getting ready to move and enhance some courses. Like Fat Cat Secrets, that's pretty new. I'm gonna leave that the way it is. But all of these courses, well, some of them, I shouldn't say everything, but I'm gonna move to the new platform. I like Teachable much better. It's just easier, it's cleaner than this one. Now, with the move, there will be significant enhancements because I'm not going to download these and move them to the new platform. I am going to rebuild these courses. So 30 days to 2,500 is going to be 30 days to 5,000. Disruptive money personal is going to change. Becoming the boss is going to change. Uh, disruptive mating, I don't, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll enhance that. How going to be broke again? I'll enhance that. Um, so what's going to happen? Child support, probably leave that alone because that's really good the way it is but everything is going to go to let's see we're going to go to hustlers kung fu university let's see uh do it that way here we go welcome to hustlers kung fu university so this will be primarily sales marketing and product development. If it's not sales, if it's not marketing or product development, it will not be here. And there's going to be a heavy focus and of heavy concentration on making money online because that's what I've done. I've actually have entered the space. Well, next year I will have made money online longer than I did offline because I'll cross that 10 year mark. Now hear me. And we'll talk about this. I am not going to monkey around with this. I am going to, let's see, did it pop up? Because I'm not going to mention this. Yes. All right. So you've got four ways to go get into this. You got the four payment plan or you have next level payment plan six months. Or you can be one and done. Now, the people who are one and done they can come to the Hustle Camp live experiences. If you're on a payment plan, no, you cannot come to the Hustlers Kung Fu live experiences. Doesn't make sense because what will happen is someone will sign up for this $385 plan, then come to a live experience. Not going to happen. So you must make payment in full if you want to come to a live experience. But if you're on the payment plan, you get access to everything else. Makes sense. So pick your poison um, and the payments. I'm going to leave this structure like this for a while because I think this is a good structure and it's going to probably take me six months to get all this stuff up. So what's going to happen is every time I drop a course, I'm going to drop a T-shirt. So you're going to get, let's say you join the day. What T-shirts would you get? You would get the Fat Cat Secrets. You would also get what I'm having conceived now is a dragon shirt. It's going to have Hustlers Kung Fu University established 2009. 
and it's going to be black and silver. We're going to see, but you'll get those two shirts because the Fat Cat Secrets is going to launch this month. And then the other shirt will launch in December. I'm probably going to do Primo, uh, Hustle Camp Primo Drive. I'll do that in January. But yeah, so you get in now, probably going to get two, three shirts. Plus, more important than the shirt, you're going to get the knowledge because let me show you something. This is my, let's go in here. You can buy it separate if you want, but the science of direct response. And what we're doing here is there's an audio version. There's a written version. Uh, those two are done. And then the upscale garage story, that's a little sale. That's a little story there. But what will happen is I will be able to put this in a manner to get you started because when I was putting this course together, I was thinking, all right, I've got these up level courses, but they're really too advanced for most people. So what, you know what? Just bring them along. Start out at what you say. You need to start with direct response because if you notice, I sell in every video. That's direct response. You got to do it. So I'm going to bring on the direct response. Then I'm probably do like a sales and marketing course and then bring over some of the other stuff because I want this to make sense. Also, set goals that you can achieve versus you like, whoa, this is too much. Essentially, the first few parts of the stuff, you can keep your job, make extra money. And also, let's talk about this bad boy. Here we go. Here we go. This is a legitimate way that you can save six to twenty thousand dollars a year off of your tax bill if you have a job. That's how. So that right there alone. And this is the thing about this. You don't have to get a lot of followers. You don't have to get a lot of views. What you have to do is set up a YouTube channel in an LLC, document your expenses, and you get to write off rooms in your house. You get to write off. You know, well, if you do what I did, I put Thor into the trust fund. I mean, I put Thor into Mac Daddy Media. So Mac Daddy Media owns that vehicle. It's 100% a tax write-off. Uh, the rims I put on it, 100% tax write-off. Uh, I could do five years. I'm, I'm going to do all at once this year. This is where I'm trying to get it all done. But I'm going to write off $55,000 just for Thor. The camera you use. You know, everyone's like, what's the cheapest camera you use? If you go out and buy a new camera, you get to write that off. You buy a new tripod, you get to write that off. You take a trip and shoot one video, you get to write that off. Well, yeah, we're at grandma's house. Well, let me go out here. Hey, I'm. this is John. I'm at grandma's house. You get to write the plane tickets. You see what I mean? It is so simple. But once again, I will outline the strategy in there. And this hands down is worth easily four or $5,000. Just saying. And thus you get a lot more. All right. So just go ahead and click the link under the video and you will be able to go ahead and start today. Start making money, start saving money and start learning how to create videos, start learning how to DM for fun and profit today. How cool is that? All right. So make sure you come here. We will handle you appropriately. And once again, if you're on the payment plan, you cannot come to the live experiences. Only the people, uh, only people, uh, <laughs> only the people who pay in full can come to the live experiences. All right. All right.